we are finally ready to introduce the assumptions. Again, we have these assumptions so that we don't make the mistakes that we made in the hospital example and presume that association is causation or make other types of mistakes, which I'll mention some here and later on when I'm explaining each of these assumptions in depth. So I've gone ahead and I've listed these assumptions on them. These are the well, quote unquote, the most important assumptions and a myriad of different colors that should be pleasing to the eye. Uh, now, these aren't the only assumptions that you can have. There are other assumptions, but these are the most important ones and these are the ones that are gonna be necessary for basic learning of causal inference. So these assumptions range from the stable unit treatment value assumption. This is probably one of the most important assumptions in causal inference. The large sample size assumption. This is an assumption more for statistical inference. It deals with estimation of quantities. Uh, double blindedness. Uh, this is probably something you've heard before, a double blinded study, and I'll go ahead and explain why this is important. Uh, the no measurement error assumption. Uh, this basically assumes that you're measuring the things uh, in a correct way. And the exchangeability assumption. This, this guy I'm putting a star by because it's probably the most important one. Uh, this assumption will allow you to say that association is causation, which is really, really cool. Okay. Because I've got a little bit more room on this slide, well, that's a pretty straight line, um, I'm going to go ahead and explain one of the assumptions, the positivity assumption here as well, so we can just get started. So positivity, so staying positive, this is positively the best assumption. So positivity in this case uh, is probably the simplest assumption, um, but it is pretty crucial if you're going to be doing causal inference, so I'll go ahead and write it down. So this assumption says that all treatments, all treatments, uh, and this is kind of an interesting uh, phrase here, all treatments. You're like, well, there's only one treatment, right? We're just going to see the doctor. What I mean to say here is that going to see the doctor is one treatment and not going to see the doctor is another treatment. And there can be cases when you have lots of different treatment values. Uh, for example, if you are living in different countries. So perhaps a treatment could be living in the United States versus going to Canada versus going to Great Britain. So all treatments are in each segment of analysis. So all treatments are in each segment of analysis. Okay, this almost sounds too obvious to be true. But what I mean to say here is that if you're interested in studying the effect of going to see the doctor versus not going to see the doctor, if none of your patients, if none of the people in your population have ever seen a doctor before, well, you can't know what the causal effect is. So this is, this is pretty obvious, uh, and it seems like a problem that would never happen in practice. But the reason why it does happen in practice is because of this, uh, each segment. Uh, sometimes we're interested in studying quite specific segments. Uh, for example, uh, people in Illinois that have more than two dogs that are left-handed. Uh, so this segment of the population might be quite small. And so in this segment, you might actually have individuals that have never uh, gone to see a specific doctor before. And so there are two ways to sort of get around this. Uh, one way to get around this is to poll more individuals, uh, to get more individuals in your sample. Uh, and the second way to get around this is to widen your segments, so to perform analysis on, on a, a wider range of people. Uh, so that's the first assumption we have here. So the next time we're going to be studying the stable unit treatment value assumption, we're going to be learning why this is uh, such a cool assumption and what, what, this, what this assumption actually means.